Shea Bear 1000 here. Today we're going to be inspecting this blower and we're going to find out what all it needs. But first we're going to see if it's even worth that. We're going to see if it's going to start first, alright? So stick with me and let's check it out together. Okay guys, so I'm going to check this out. We need to pull the air cleaner off. There's, there's a tab down at the bottom and a tab up here at the top. Okay, there we go. Okay, filter don't look too bad. It needs clean, but it doesn't look too bad. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to squirt a little gas down in the carburetor, and we're going to see if this thing will run first before I go messing around with it. I figure it will, but let's just see and find out. It should start up once we pour some gas down in the carburetor here. So. Got a little bit of fuel right here. I'm just going to put just a little bit down in there. Okay. Uh, let me see here. Which way is choke? I want to make sure. Alright, we got full choke on here. Scoot back a little bit. Go to step two. Okay, guys. So we know this thing's run. This thing runs, and I can tell you right now, it needs fuel lines. I don't see any fuel lines. They should go in right here, in these two little holes right there. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, this needs a primer bulb. See how all cruddy that is. I do have a primer bulb, and I do have fuel lines. Okay, but we also have to check something else in this thing got you on a stand why am I not using it this one mixes 40 to 1 so that's about right okay so this thing is gunked up to beat hell I mean that stuff I have no idea what that shit is. Okay, here's part of the old fuel line down in here. Now if you guys watch my other video, let me uh, get my needle nose here. The thing I was talking about that I couldn't remember, well it just flew down inside. I couldn't remember the name of it, it's called a coupler. Alright, well, there's the filter. This is the coupler. It's all gummed up. Uh, I think I can still use it once I clean everything up. We'll just have to inspect it more. Okay, as you can see, that's nasty down in there. So, first thing we got to do is pull the tank. This thing is. I'm betting this is no good. I don't know what all this shit is. But, I have another filter it's not new but I've got a couple coming too so with a carburetor I've got two filters coming this one will work for now because I know it's a good one I can blow through it and I can suck through it all right so what we got to do look at this mess already uh, let's go ahead and pull this tank off of here Looks to be there's two two screws right there, and I think that's all it is. Them two screws right there. So let's go ahead. And let's pop them screws out of there. Get my rag here. Uh, do I have the right one on here? All right. One. Two. 
two. Is that all that's holding it? Let's find out. Yes, it is all that's holding it. But, I really don't want to have to take this bar off of here if I don't have to. Alright, there. Got that off. There's the two holes. I'm not sure. Yeah, it looks like one's bigger than the other. Let's let's find out here. So what I'm gonna do, push the rest of that line. Okay, yeah, so this takes a like I was telling you on my last video, uh, it's got a bigger line and a smaller line. And the smaller line is usually the return. So we're gonna have to clean all this out of here yeah see it's it's all gunked up so I'm gonna have to use carburetor cleaner on this Ugh. Uh, I don't have I might have I don't think I've got a cap that will fit this I may have to get a cap uh, because see these caps are vented in a hole and there's a uh, one way it's like a little rubber check valve inside these caps it lets air in but it doesn't let air out it's kind of like a pressurized system so I may have to get another cap for this to breathe but right now let's go ahead and take this off of here I might be able to clean that up. I don't know. That goes inside there. So I'm going to clean all this up. Um, yeah, this is uh, that's nasty down in there. I don't know what the shit is. Uh, I don't know. So it may or may not have been sucked up into the carburetor. Hopefully, I don't need to get a carburetor for this, but we'll just have to see. It's pretty dirty, but. That's, you know, cosmetic. That's on the outside. Uh, we may pull the carburetor off and check it. I don't know, but first thing we got to do is get this fuel tank cleaned out. So, let me get my uh, carburetor cleaner. And um, I may just soak this if it'll fit. I may just soak this down in there. But we'll see. Let me get my carburetor cleaner out, guys. Alright, so I've got my carburetor cleaner. Uh... I need to get a new can of this. This is getting pretty nasty. I mean, it's still working, but, uh, you know, after so long, that stuff just, it gets dirt in it. You don't want to put, try to clean a dirty carburetor with dirty stuff. But it'll definitely work for what, what we're going to use it for right now. I'm just going to let this, uh, that cap, I don't think I want to soak it in here because it's like I said, it's got that little one-way valve in it, which is rubber. I don't know if it's, you know, if it'll be all right to use with this or not. Yeah, see it's got, I can't see, I'm just got this stuff on my hands. I don't know if you can see in there. See how dirty that is? Yeah. All right, so let me set this down here. A little chillier today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dip this down inside of here. And I'm gonna let it soak for a couple hours. Let's see if that stuff won't break up and come out of there. Uh, if not, I'll just have to clean it manually. Which kind of sucks, but... I mean, it's doable. This tank's fine. It's just, you know, I'm just going to have to clean it. So let me get something and weight this down. I'm going to weight that down in there like that. And then after that soaks for a couple hours... I'll turn it upside down, swish it around, let it maybe soak, you know, another 20 minutes or something to get it inside the tank. Right now I want to get all that goop, that goop that's in there out. Okay, so in the meantime, 
Let's move this out of the way. Let's get you up here. There's a pretty good shot right there. Let's go ahead and change this primer bulb. This is like I had mentioned in the other videos. A couple of them, I do believe. Um, remember when we was working on the Ryobi? Ooh, I may have to take this off. When we was working on the Ryobi, I was telling you about the one that takes the two screws. This is one of them here. Some of the older ones actually have four screws. It doesn't need that many. Just a primer bulb. So I may have to pull this. I, mean, I really didn't want to do that, but. Uh, well, let's go ahead and pull this cover off. I hate messing with the carburetors if they don't need to be messed with. Because, you know, then you go, you're dicking around with something that doesn't need to be dicked with. Or so we hope, you know. I must already have it on here. I think I do. Okay, that fits. There's these, uh, there's two screws in there. Uh, these carbs are pretty simple. Um, this one does have the adjustments on it, so it's a little better carburetor. They're trying, they're, they're just pretty much making them throw away. That's why you can buy them so cheap anymore. But the problem is, is a lot of people, they can adjust a carb. You know, they get used to running their equipment, they can adjust it, but they don't know how to change it. So it kind of sucks for some people. And, uh... Then they gotta hire somebody and put a new carburetor on it. When really, a lot of times all they need is adjusting, and you can't adjust them because, well, there's no adjustment on them. So, see, and you should never turn a carburetor upside down, but, you know, right now what we're doing, let's go ahead and pull this carburetor off of here. Let me get you guys moved over here a little bit. Get you pointed down. So you can see what we're doing. Fairly simple. Now let's get let's get this wiped off so no dirt will go inside there. And then we'll get our primer bulbs up here. Whoops! Like I said, I've never checked this. I didn't really check this one over. I would have had the primer bulb out. Uh, I've got so many of these things sitting around that I look at kind of quickly so I can know, you know, well, this one's going to need more work than this one, blah, blah, blah. So I know which, which one to do first, okay? So let's just set this down here for now. I'm going to wipe this off really well. Now let's get... Let's get our got a bunch of primer bulbs in here. Bear with me just a second, guys. Uh, looks like that might be it. So let's go ahead and pull this out. Uh, sometimes they stick. Just be careful. Try not to get any dirt in here. Okay, I've seen a couple specs. Okay. Oh, they should fit. Whoops. Right on there like that. Uh -oh. I don't want it coming apart. I don't want to hurt them gaskets. Them seals are right down in there. Well, since we're here, there's a little screen down in here, and it looks like it's gummed up. Well, okay. Uh, I can blow through it, but boy, it looks 
that looks pretty gummed up there to me um, I don't know if I've got a screen for that well okay what we're going to do see there's a there's your reeds right there there's a reed there and a reed there okay so oh shit. let's go ahead and put this together and let's see how it runs I don't think it's going to run too well but do I have the right bulb in there yeah it looks like it I'm just measuring right there okay Well, that should push itself down in there once we start tightening it. Move my fat fingers out of the way. Come on, man. Might help if I have it straight on there, right? Started. Get this one. There we go. That one started. Now we're just going to tighten these up. And don't like really raunch on them. Just go until they're snug. That's it. It will seal and it won't leak. So that looks pretty good. Right around there. Looks like it's flat up against it. So that's telling me the primer bulb is in position. But see, that's not a good sign. When they do that, something's clogging up. And I think it's that one. Alright, so let's get our little piece of wire out here. My torch tip cleaners. Get one of these out. It's kind of a small one. We have an issue there, so let's go ahead and pull this back off of here. There's a clog in it, so let's see if we can find that clog. What's wrong here? There we go. Why are we working in the dark, guys? suspect maybe that one okay so this is uh it's pretty clogged here blow through that bottom one okay so this one's clear this one is not man i hate taking these things off of here to reuse them uh Hate taking these off. Looks like I'm gonna have to. I think 
like I got it. A little bit of suction there. Don't want to just put a line on here. I'm guessing that we're probably going to put a carburetor on this too. Because this is this blower's well worth putting a carburetor on. Needs a carburetor. It's no biggie. Again, I can get I can get this carburetor here. It's a little more expensive. It's about twelve bucks, which is what I gave for the carburetor for the Ryobi. Except I'm getting the whole kit. I'm I'm getting the carburetor, two filters, extra fuel lines, um, a spark plug. So I'm getting all show you, I'll show you all that stuff when it comes in. It should be in here this coming Saturday. I'll show you everything I got for twelve bucks, or I could have. Well, it was thirteen bucks, uh, or I could have just got the carburetor for twelve. So I was like, "Well, I'm getting the whole unit." Uh, let's see if that helped any. Come on. All right. Well, it looks like. Me. See, it shouldn't do that. See, it should pop right back up pretty, pretty easy. Um, and sometimes, if you work with them, they'll clear themselves out. But you know, you're not really fixing, repairing anything when you're doing that. So, let's take this back off. And I may put some of, I may go ahead and put this in the carb cleaner as well. I probably should do that anyway. And it is a wall burl also. Just seeing it somewhere on here right there. See it is a wall burl car wall burl carburetor. G17A I think I'm just going to blow all this out but this this is my issue here now it's really dirty try to get these things off here without breaking it's a pain so what I normally use find it, I just had it here, is I use a razor knife, so let me grab my razor knife, I got my razor knife here, and I try to get right in between there, and just bring it around, just be real careful, that you don't cut that diaphragm, I've never cut one knock on wood, but I know some people that have. It's not that big of a deal if we're going to replace the carburetor, but I hate to replace the carburetor if I don't have to. See, this is actually two pieces. You got your di your uh, your little reeds there, and you got your gasket. So the gasket will go down on there. Okay, so there's a hole here. And I can see it down. I don't know if you guys can see it. Right down in that little square hole there. That's the cleaner. That's coming up through there. Let's go ahead and take take this rubber piece out. If we can do that without 
I'm screwing this up. There's a little. Okay. Like that. Okay. Just flip some in like that. And there's a little hole right there. Right here. So we are clear now. Okay, so let's put this back together once in a while. I gotta clean this off. Give me one second here. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and soak this in some carb cleaner. And I'm going to leave it set for a while, so bear with me and I'll come back with you. Um, I really don't want to mess with this either, but I am going to try to clean it off a little bit. Um, so, it's pretty dirty. There's the uh, there's your choke. This is the, the throttle. These uh, round pieces in here are called butterflies. Um, I can blow through this pretty easy. Because if I can't just throw this in there and soak it because there's a diaphragm underneath here. And it looks like... Looks like this. Okay. Way that goes like that. Okay, this one is no good. This is the one that I was going to use in the Ryobi, but it wasn't any good. So that's why I just ordered a whole carburetor for it. I could have got a bunch of these for uh, like five bucks. And a lot of times, this is all that's wrong with them. It's just this here. If it sticks down in the down position like that. That holds it open, that getting too much fuel, that's when you're getting fuel running out of your carburetor. That's when it's hydro locking, which means your cylinder's full of fuel and it can't compress, so it's like it, it locks up. When it goes like that, when it stays up like that, that's when you get it won't it won't start at all, it won't run. When you squirt starting fluid or gasoline into the carburetor, it'll start up and die. Start up and die. That's when they stick open like that and I believe if I remember right that's what was going on with this one it was uh it came off of uh my personal chainsaw so all right so let me let me go I'm gonna go ahead and soak this uh, I'm not gonna worry about this one right now I'm just gonna wipe it off a little bit and uh Maybe blow blow it out with some compressed compressed air. Uh, you know what? We're into it this far. Let's go ahead and check this diaphragm. That'll save me a lot of time later. If the diaphragm's bad, I'll just order a bunch of them diaphragms and. Uh, Because this this is it's the same one where I got the chainsaw, which we have not checked out yet. I don't think I've even showed it to you guys. The Craftsman chainsaw, the Ryobi uh, weed eater with all the attachments, and this blower. And they all ran about a year ago. He said, which I believe him. I mean, he sounded pretty honest too. Uh, like it's stuck in the down position Okay, this 
one doesn't seem too bad. It's still a little, it's a little dry. But I'm going to try it. Uh, I think I may just go ahead and order a carburetor for this. So I'm going to go ahead and try that. Uh, and these things take a special screwdriver, like a double D or whatever. Um, but a lot of times what I have done is I've taken a Dremel, which I do not have anymore. I need to get another one. And I would just slice right straight across there so you can use a, a little straight screwdriver on them. Um, this is kind of like, this is what kind of like what your float does in a regular carburetor only that diaphragm right here operates this and there's your needle valve right there so let's go ahead and take that out get my screwdriver here because I do believe there's a rubber piece on there of it. Do not lose that that spring or that screw, which I just lost the damn screw. It's that little tiny spring. You don't want to lose that. And here is the. Uh, see, it's got a rubber tip on it. I don't know how well it would play with that carb cleaner. Okay, so there's the screw. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and soak this in. I'm not going to remove them screws. Because uh, I don't think there's an issue there. So, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to put this in the cleaner. I'm going to put this in the carburetor cleaner. And we're going to let it soak for a few hours. I'm going to blow it out with compressed air. Well, I'm going to blow it off with compressed air. And then I'm going to put it into the carb cleaner. And uh, we're going to let it soak. And I'll be back with you and, and you know we'll see we'll see what all we can do with this thing um, you know I'm not I'm not a hundred percent sure that that carburetor is going to be any good well the carburetor itself will be good I'm just thinking I'm gonna to have to get one of these possibly one of these this this seems to be okay uh, there they're limber like they should be. Um, but this is questionable. I mean, it still may. Cause that's what it does. But you hear it clicking, you shouldn't hear that. But it may work long enough to see if it's going to run okay before we buy the carburetor. So let me get this blown off, get it in there, and I'll be back with you guys. Okay, guys, we're back. We've got the carburetor all cleaned up nice, looking pretty good. That screen looks really good. So whatever that is came off beautifully. I blew it all out with compressed air. So now let's go ahead and get this puppy dog back together here. I'm going to put our little, uh, our little deal in here. Make sure that's nice and clean. Goes down in there, and I'm gonna have to do this a little differently here. Got to get our spring. Like that, uh, little little screwdriver here. Now we 
get this. Whoops. Okay. Make sure that's working. Doesn't seem to be sticking. Like I said, if this runs halfway decent, I'll go ahead and get a carburetor or this uh, diaphragm. It's it's called a metering diaphragm. So this on here. Put them all in just loosely in case you gotta move it back and forth a little bit. I should put them screws in there. So there's a little quite a bit of dirt actually on there but that's okay because it's not going inside anywhere all right so there's and there's that little piece that come out pretty good you can see all the way through it see so that turned out pretty good. I may not have to use this uh, if my lines, depending on my lines, but I think they'll be okay. I think they'll seal up enough where I won't have to use that. Let's put our little plug in here. These things can be kind of finicky. Just take your time. Once you get started in there, it'll go. But sometimes it's it's kind of a pain because you see it's kind of a weird looking setup on the end of that. But that's what holds it in there. Sometimes you can get. I may have to get a little more screwdriver. But sometimes you can get them started like that. I may need a little more screwdriver to get it started, but. Make sure it's all the way down on. See, that is not all the way down on. So, sometimes take your thumb and twist it, and you get that down in there. Just like that. Now, oops, we're forgetting something, aren't we? Let me see here. Sure, I got this on the right way. Like this. There we go. Don't look right. I got it on upside down. Here we go. Just like that. As you can see the where these indentations, these lines and stuff meet up with this, so. And get this started down on here. started okay. get this started now I have to see if I got any gas to, to mix or if I've got some already mixed up I'm not sure I know I got to get some I'm running low if I'm not out I'm very low <clears throat> I don't like to drain it out of something else and put in here but and there we go, silver primer bulb popping right out like it should. Okay, so that's the suction line right there. So that'll be sucking it up 
out of the tank and the other one will be pushing it back into the tank so this is the one that the um, oh shoot uh, the pickup with the filter on it that's the one that'll be so I gotta get the other piece out of the cleaner and get it blown off and then we'll put see if we can put the carburetor on see if we can get the lines on with the carburetor on it I think we will so let's just go ahead and uh, clean this other piece off that other red plastic piece and as soon as I get that blown off, I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I got the I got the gas tank cleaned out. I got the fuel lines in there and the filter in. Now if you look down in the corner, right, right above that line there is a little bit of dirt. There's like a dirty spot, but that is not coming off. I've soaked this thing for about three hours in a carb cleaner and I have also uh, soaked in gasoline for about 20 minutes that is not coming out so if it's not coming out like that with gasoline then I don't have to worry about it coming out you know period later so yeah how did I get this out guys let's get this put in here one way or another Came out, didn't it? Gotta go back in. Like that. There we go. Just like that. That's the way that goes. So now, the carburetor is gonna go like that. That's the suction side, so that's gonna be the bigger line. So what I'm going to do is just to hold it for a second, just going to screw that on there so I can cut off the length I need, right there it looks like. So that's why I wish I had a roll of it of the line, you know. So because like this little bit, it's a waste. Um, where'd it go? That's a waste. I'll, I'll never be able to use that for anything, you know. I mean, and you do have five or six times, you got enough to do another one that's wasted. So we're gonna put. See this one I can use again. We'll cut it off about there. And we're gonna stick this up on here. Just like that. Now hopefully that diaphragm will be okay, but I I highly doubt it. It does seem like it's starting to to uh starting to get a little stiff. But um If that's all it is, is the diagram, I'll, be, I'll the diaphragm, I'll be able to tell, and I can just order one of those. And if it's something else, then I'll know it's in it's a carburetor, and I'll be able to order me a carburetor. So. these are LEDs on here there's three of them they quit working one day that's the only issue I've ever had with that thing I'm very happy with it I had to break down and buy me a new pair of boots guys my other boots I had six years old they were Wolverine so I had I didn't really have the money but I had to I, I had to spend the money you know I mean I just I had to have a new pair of boots I mean they 
I'll show them to you. They they were just uh, in very very pitiful condition. Uh, after six years, you know. But they were Wolverines, and that's what I bought. I bought another pair of Wolverines. They're identical, except not in bad shape, of course. But uh, let's see what I take these out with. So uh, I figure they'll last me a while. Let's check, make sure throttle's working. Choke, nothing's binding up. Okay, so we're ready to put some fuel in this thing and see if it'll pump fuel. All right, uh, I still got, I've still got to clean this off. It's no big, oops, it's no big deal. Um, I got the uh, wherever I put it, the cap. See, I don't think I'll need this. If it leaks around one of these lines, then I'll have to use it. But I don't think I, I don't think I will. I think my lines are tight enough. We'll find out. Okay, so I got my cap cleaned up. I got my, this just needs wiped off. My seal, my O-ring. Whatever, it's a seal. Uh, kind of looks, I may get a, get a, get a fuel cap for it. We'll, um, we'll have to see, to see how it runs. If I got to order, if I have to order a carburetor, then I will put a new fuel cap on it. But let me see if I can round up some, some gasoline, some mixed fuel, and we'll see if it pumps up. If it pumps up good, then we'll try to, we'll give it a shot on start. Okay? Hang tight. Okay, guys, so I did have a little bit of fuel in that can. I didn't think I did, but I did. So, now let's look at this primer bulb. Let's see if it's pumping it up. Yes, I already see it pumping it up. See it? There it is. That's mixed real heavy. That's it's about 51. This only takes 41. That's okay. It'll just smoke a little bit. Okay. So let me get you set up here, and uh, I'll get the cap on it, and we'll see if it'll start. All right, guys. I got some gas in it. Got her primed. Let's see what happens. Kicking ass. I didn't even get the throttle. I didn't even have it on choke, so it says to prime it six times. You saw me, I primed it six times. But it says to go half choke, pull three times, and then let me see, what does it say? It says right here. It says to prime it six times, go to full choke, pull three times, go to half choke, start it, and then it run which is a, a wide open choke I didn't have to do that but there could be fuel in there from remember when we when we checked the primer it could have you know it kind of primed it then so it's got a hesitation The adjustment tool for it. Um, this one's not a WD. I thought it was, but it's not. Um, this is mine. It's kind of stripped out. It's really no good. But I, sometimes I can flatten. You can see what I've done there. I flatten the edge. Kind of flatten them to make them fit. To make it fit other carburetors. But it, it's it's not going to fit this one. I don't know. So that's all right though. Adjustment. I think the carburetor's good. So we've been doing pretty good here lately on getting stuff running and diagnosing them. So I really didn't think once we took that carburetor apart, I didn't think it was going to it was going to work. Um, I have a similar one here 
that I was going to see if I could fabricate it uh, if that one didn't work just to hear it run um, well that wasn't the case it ran yeah, I'll just bring you up here with me it ran so I'm good with that it runs all it needs is the carburetor adjusted you know I think I'm gonna take it outside run it for a little bit and then um, you know make sure everything's out of there and you know any dirt that may be left in there I don't think there is any um, there could be it might come out of that after I run it for a little bit but I don't know um, usually when they bog like that it needs a carburetor it needs a slight adjustment and I really can't adjust it right now uh, if I had my Dremel I would just cut notches in it and I would have it adjusted it'd be ready to go so I'm gonna have to get my little tools and get like a 10 piece set for nine bucks or whatever you know uh, and it'll cover anything I've got so Alright guys, that being said, I appreciate you watching. Thanks for hanging out in the garage with me today on a Monday. And uh, so, uh, y'all have a great week and be safe. And we'll chat at you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.